Talk to Joe on 1850 715 815. You may have heard a program over the weekend, 51551, uh, the Bank Holiday weekend, about uh, tug of war, believe it or not. And Gus O'Loughlin was in the program. Gus, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Joe. You are evangelical about tug of war. You think every community, village, group should take it up again. Why? Well, uh, I, w- I wouldn't go that far to say yeah. that, but uh, like it's, I suppose it's a, it, 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 it's a sport that has its different pockets in different parts of Ireland. And where is it, yeah, where is it strong? Well, it's strong in Wexford. Bowley in Wexford now would be one of the greatest, one of the great teams in in Ireland, Europe, and the world. Lake Hill in Ballinay would be one of the top teams in Europe as well. In in Cavan, it would be fairly strong. And in Cor- in Parkers of Cork. And, and, you, I. and you're in Clare. I'm in Clare. Well, I, I'm the, we're the only team at the moment in Clare. And what is about Tug of War that's so brilliant in your eyes? Well, I first I first came in contact with with the sport in England in the seventies, when I was working there. I, I I my brother who was there previously before me, he pulled he used to pull Tug of War with the Shannon Tug of War Club, and well, we had a coach by the name of Willie Nosent who came from Cleggan out in, in, in Connemara. And, and he asked me if I'd be involved. And, and at the time I said, I'm too light, I'm too skinny. But he said, it doesn't matter. It's, it covers all weights from 8 stone to 18 stone. So it's, it's eight men. It's eight men at, at all different weights. And I was attracted to it the first time ever I picked up the rope. And what is, what is the attraction of tug of war? Well, it's it's, it's manly, it's sporty. There's, there's a character to it. There's, 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 it it's 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 something that it's it's a sport. It's a sport that who those people that don't play hurling or football or soccer or rugby or whatever, it, it's a sport for those that are that that see that maybe there is an outlet in their life outside of a social outlet in their life, and it's a family day out because when I when we go pulling. Most of our families come with me. My wife and, 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 and our daughters come with me on the day out. And you're, are you pulling now, Gus, or are you a coach? No, I'm not pulling now. I'm too old for pulling now. My pulling is over. Okay, what, what, age, what age do you finish, finish well, pulling at? Well, actually, actually, there are, there are some of the bowling lads that are pulling at the moment in their mid-50s. But are they not a family down there in Wexford? Well, there used to be the Cures. The Cures used to be make up six or seven of that team one time, but their nephews and cousins kept it ongoing, and it's ongoing, and they're still they're still ongoing, and and they epitomise what Tug of War is about. That club. In what way? Family. Well, well, yeah. well, well in every way. The, I mean, like it's not it's not funded. There's no funding. Oh, is there? Yeah. There's no funding, so. They just come back from Colombia last week from the World Championships. Most of those guys from Lake Hill and from Bowley had to put their hand in their pocket and probably pay out X amount of money to travel there. And how did they get on, did you hear? No, well, they didn't do any good. This year, they didn't do any good. They, they finished in the top three, top four. And who were the, who were the World Champions, Gus? Who were the World Champions? Well, Sweden, Sweden would be... Sweden would be the top at the moment. Okay. But last year, Lake Hill, would, Lake Hill from Ballinair would have won the heavyweight club championship. This is the Mayo crew. This is the Mayo team, yeah, from Ballinair, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Gus, yeah. Did you, the, the Ronan Kelly made the programme. He came across you at a tug of war. He hadn't met you before. But here's, here's a little clip uh, from uh, Ronan Kelly's programme about Gus and the tug of war and it went out last Saturday and it's on the Dock on One website of course on the Curious Air website here's Gus in full flight The Baron and Lake Hill are you ready? Yeah Go ahead Let's make sure make sure you get a good foot and a good drop here you now Turn over your me now Turn your me over now let's turn them over from one to anchor now from one to anchor now What's the drop now? Long and tight now Keep walking there, keep walking there tight now. Keep it on now. Keep it on, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. You're trouble to keep it up a small bit there. Tight, 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 tight on the bottom there now. Tight on now. Turning this up now to fall for every man out for the bottom now. Keep it on now. Keep it on now. They're tight now. Keep squeezing and that's the one. Keep squeezing. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, you're on. Hit your after down and save us. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Tight now. Tight now. And there. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Push, 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 push. And there. Uh, Take back the hands! Take back the hands! 
Get back there, hen! Come on, get off the ground and push off the wall! Get off and get put to end in it! Four and one. Can you see us in the shop? Hip hip! Hey. Hip hip! Hey. Hip hip! Hey. Did you win that one, Gus? Uh, I don't know if that was... Oh, no, that was again bowling. No, that was the final. We didn't win it, no. <laughs> and how was, your, how was your blood pressure? Uh, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay so far, yeah. And, and Gus, when you say turn it over, anchor tight, what does all that mean in English? Well, uh, well, uh, well it means that you've got to keep... You, You'd nearly have to see Joe, but you've got, you got to get the right position on the rope and at an angle of 45 degrees. Mm-hmm. Your, your, legs, your legs and hands have to be in, 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 co- in, in line with one another and you have to keep the pressure on because if you don't keep the pressure on the legs, the ball or Lake Hill or Glen Hill or Dunamore from Cork, if you don't keep the pressure on, then you don't stand a chance. And is there, who's the most important man on the Tug of War team? All nine. Oh no! I thought the anchor was the most important. No, 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 no. He's he, 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 the, 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 there's no individual. They're all they're, they're, there are better anchormen than others. Certainly, there is no doubt about okay. that. There, there are there, there are individual pullers who are natural pullers. And Gus, can can a, can, a, can a heavier team will a heavier team always beat a lighter team? Not always, no. So how how did how does a lighter team win? <coughs> well. We go back to Bowling and Lake Hill again. Okay. They, 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 they can, over the years, they've been there for 20, 30, 40 years. So they, their experience, their hands and their legs can see them through. They can, they have the patience. They okay. have the durability to sit it out and hold out until they break you down mentally. Because it's also a mental thing. And they what, break. they're watching the other, the other team, they're seeing, they're trying to tire them out. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and and of course the the coach is most important. The coach knows and tells them when to hit and when not to hit. And to hit, you mean go for it? Go for it, yeah. And what they get usually, if they take you a foot or two foot, they keep it. They, it's hard to take it back off of doors because they're so experienced, they're so well trained, they're so well drilled. They've been around the world. So, what's the most important physical attribute of a good tug of war puller? Is it the shoulders, the legs, the arms? Well, you have to have, I mean, like, you need a good back, you need good legs, good hands. Okay. You, need, you need to be mentally, mentally, you need to be, you need to, you need to have to want this sport. I mean, like, it's not, it's yeah. a sport that you have to train three nights a week for. It's a sport oh, that, no, I thought tug of war was something that holders or GAA players or fellas did, in the, in, in, as well as another sport. Well, of course, that, that, that one time was a spectacle in all festivals in all counties throughout Ireland. That's where you'd have, we'll say, the Darling Girl from Clare, or you had the Willie Clancy Week, or you had, or you had something else in Tipperary, or something else in Cork, or whatever. And there'd be tug of war thrown in, thrown in there. But, but these guys would maybe be coming out from, from the pub after a few drinks, or the teams would be picked from the crowd yeah. on the sideline. And it was a bit of fun. And, and sometimes they got out of hand. How? Well, they would have a few drinks and uh, there wouldn't be a proper proper referee there and it would be a bit biased maybe and there would be a row and there could be, there could be fisticuffs. <laughs> but this, this, is, this, this is discipline. This is purely and strictly amateur, 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 an amateur sport. Yeah. It's disciplined. There's judges. There's, there's a way in. There's no, there's no missing. And Gus, what's the longest? Uh, there's a, is there a radio on the background there or something? Uh, no. What, what's the longest tug of war m- match you've ever sat through? Or you haven't sat, you stand through them, I suspect. In your well, case as well, a coach. Well, I watched the pull in, in Dundalk last year mm-hmm. between two teams, between, between two teams. Paulie were one of them and Gus Lestra were another one from, from, from uh, Leitrim. I watched that pull and the, fo- the first pull in that Lasted nine minutes and twenty seconds. That's a long tug of war match, is it? Well, it is. Well, they wouldn't be pulling to and fro. They'd be watching. They'd be watching the tactics to see who was going to go first. So ten minutes, nearly ten minutes, is long. Is that the longest you've ever witnessed? That's the longest I've witnessed watching one yet. Ten minutes is a long time to be going to and fro. I can tell you, though, that's oh, a, it's a tough sport. It's a, it's 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 not for everyone. It's not for the same tactics. I know. And what's the shortest? Match. Well, well, that depends. You see, if 
<laughs> that depends on, on the opposition. Like, it could be over in 20, 30 seconds. Wow. And who are all Ireland champions at the minute? Bowley? Well, there are, there are different ways, Joe. We're, oh, pulling, we're, we're pulling down in, in Cork on Sunday in, in Dunamore in County Cork in an all Ireland 600. 600 kilos. There are all different weights from 560 kilos, 600, 640, 680, 720, and catch weight. So, so the last two All Islands, that's next one there is Cork, and the final one is in Balinia in Cavan at 560 kilos. So at the moment, Bowley would, Bowley would hold the upper hand on most of those. Okay, and so when is the next tug of war competition coming up? Do you know? The next tug of war competition is on next Sunday in yeah. Dunamore in County Cork at 640 All Ireland. Well, Division 2 and senior. And that's on the afternoon down in Dunamore, is it? That's, uh, okay. that's on down there if you want to come down and see us. And you'll be there, will you, Gus? Oh, I'll be there with the button, yes. I'll be there with the button shouting them on. Fair play to you. We're coaching him as well. And Gus, what do, what do you do in real life? Well, um, I, what I, 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 was, I was into store work, store mason, but like... That's no longer, that's all dried up, that work. So I had to take, I, I was unemployed for three years and then I went on a fire scheme. So I'm, I'm on a, a local fire scheme at the moment. And what happened? You were, what do you, what you mean your stone, you were building walls or specialised? Well, yeah, building walls and houses and all that and all that kind of work dried up and it's, you know, it's like it, the boom came to an end for all of us construction people. But I thought being a stonemason was very specialised. Yeah, but where it, it is, but where is, where is, where is, where is, where is there, there's no place to build at the moment. There's mm. nobody building. Okay, so so you say to communities, have a go at Tug of War, do it properly. It's a great, great sport, and it costs very little. Well, it, well, it, 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 we, like I say, we travel maybe every Sunday from from May until August. Most Sundays we travel. And it's out of our pocket. We have to travel yeah, from Clare to Cork, yeah. Clare to Bania, Clare to whatever. But we're sponsored. We, we're lucky in Corrofin. We have two great sponsors. And who are they? Tom Howard, Tom Howard Builders right. of, of, of Kinlebay. He sponsors us uh, very, very generously. And Clifton, Clifton House, just outside Corrofin, Rashinda and Charles Walsh sponsor us as well. And the locals, Churchgate Collections and and so on and so forth. And Gus, as the nine people on the, I presume they're subs as well. But what what are what are they doing? Are they farmers or professionals or what do they do in their day to day lives? Well, no, they'd be coming from most walks. Well, they'd be nearly from all walks of life. Some a couple, couple of mine are. And my own son is on there as a plumber, and I have two more plumbers. They're from, they're not all from Corofin, nearly. They're from North, North Clare, from the Borden. Those two are from Doolan, two Flanagans. Uh, they'd be, some of them would be plasterers, some of them would be unemployed, some of them would be stone builders. But they're funded out of their own pocket. They come to train in 30, 20, 20, 20, 25 miles to train. Great. And Gus, have you ever applied to the Sports Council to try and get a grant? No, it's totally amateur sport. No, you're managing yourselves. Fair play to you now. Well, we are managing ourselves at the moment, but it's tough going. I mean, like it costs money to go to Cork, you know, to put money in petrol in the can and you have to eat coming home and all that. It's, it's yeah. a full day's work. OK, it's a great, it's a great sport. And you definitely brought, brought it to life on Ronan Kelly's programme. You really did now. You really brought it to life, Gus. So, yeah, we're hoping. I'm hoping, like I'm hoping that more teams in Clare and and in, and and around Munster will pick it up. And but like a lot of teams, you are going out of out of action because mm-hmm. of unemployment. And last mm-hmm. year in Connacht, we lost three teams in Connacht last year because of unemployment and emigration or whatever. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, okay. We'll do more next Sunday. Um, the do the more next Sunday, and the in, the first weekend in in September. We'll be in Ballina in County Cavan for a 560. Hopefully, where we'll do battle with our friends by inside and Bowley and Lake Hill and Glen Hill and Dunamore. Okay. okay. Great afternoon. A great sport. Uh, as I say, Gus, you're a fantastic ambassador for you. have really emerged as a great uh, evangelical uh, uh, purveyor of the, the, the art and the skill, above all, the skill 
of uh, Tug of War. It's uh, well, well done. That's Gus O'Loughlin of the Burren Tug of War team. Uh, you didn't think they existed. They do. There's lots of them around the country and are very, very good. Burren Tug of War team. You can hear that programme. It's from the Curious Ear uh, with Ronan Kelly on uh, the RT website. And indeed, I made a documentary with Ronan Kelly over the last few months. It was broadcast there on July 20th. That was called Number Three Lessons in History. And you can also find that on the Doc on One uh, website. Thank you indeed.